Hello everyone, today we have a quite fresh kit from uh, Zoki Mura. As you can see, it's um, a so called Shamrock tank. And I hope some of you remember uh, Edelweiss tank, uh, which was from the same series. As you can see, it's written here Galleon Chronicles. Uh, this is product licensed by Sega. So, this kit is modded in 135 scale, typical scale for military vehicles. Uh, on the box art we have this nice um, picture of the tank in action. Moreover, as you can see, box itself is much smaller in comparison with uh, previous Edelweiss because this tank is a light tank uh, and it's also written Zaka Custom. Uh, also here we have uh, photos of the assembled model. As you can see, it's quite uh, interesting. Uh, I mean, it looks quite interesting in assembled state. And here we have some information written in Japanese. So this is top opening box. And inside we find several sprues uh, of this, I would say, blue colored plastic. So let's begin to check them one by one. This is typical Zokimura product, so you can expect that inside there will be perfectly molded parts. Nevertheless, it will be interesting to check them a bit closer because tank will feature very good detailization, even for such uh, imaginative subject, I would say. So here we have a first sprue. As you can see, um, it features some external and internal parts. And as you can see, molding quality is very nice. For example, this front uh, part is molded as one piece. And also even some tiny components are molded here, as you can see, as one piece. Here you can see a turret, which will be assembled from several parts. And also some external parts that will be placed on the tank. Then we have, I guess, two similar sprues. Uh, those include suspension elements and wheels. I will show you only one because there is no need to show absolutely identical sprues twice. Just give me a second. Here it is. As you can see, this model features uh, this uh, track length parts, so they are not made from uh, vinyl, they are molded from plastic and they are already, as you can see, have this uh, shape with characteristic sack between road wheels. Road wheels, by the way, are placed here. As you can see, molding quality is very nice. They are molded as one piece, so you won't have to glue anything. And here you can see drive sprocket and idlers. Very nice quality here is some suspension elements. And here you can see other part of the tracks. Moreover, quite an interesting feature here. You can see how Zokimura decided to do designations of the spruce so it will be easier to find them among other plastic frames. Next we have Transparent sprue, small one, one and only, uh, and I guess it features parts for the visors. And molding quality is excellent. I mean, I don't see anything here to complain about. Then we have last sprue, which contains whole parts. As you can see, those are molded as a one piece. I would say I see one interesting thing straight away. I will show it to you. Uh, this tank will feature side armor. Here you can see it. And I think for ease of assembly, it was designed as a single piece, even though, as you can see, it's, uh, I would say, overlapping uh, against each other. So. I don't know, it still looks very nice and molding quality doesn't suffer from such solution so we can, let's say, uh, consider this as a proper molding solution. Uh, whole, bottom whole part will be assembled from several parts while top one is molded as you can see is uh, this complex 
shaped segment which will be later covered with additional elements and of course inside there is nothing and I don't see any flash or any other problems for this tank then we have this nice assembly manual but nevertheless there is some small thing inside inside we find a uh, brochure I guess which is relevant for the Japan and decal sheet as you can see decal sheet features all the necessary symbols and printing quality is excellent even though there is no mention where it was printed then we have assembly manual itself as I said it's written in form of this nice brochure here we have colored photos and text written in Japanese unfortunately here we have our parts map and assembly process starts pictures are quite typical for the Zoki Mura so nothing special here and I guess assembled model should look really nice moreover uh, marking options are uh, the only one is shown here and as you can see there are some painting advices on how to achieve such a complex pattern on your small tank uh, that's all for today don't forget to check full review article on our website and I would like to recommend you to subscribe to this YouTube channel which you are watching now and also to like our Facebook group. Thank you for watching once again and see you soon.